Hey everybody, it's Jason from Jane J Explore and today we're going to do a ration review. Now, I've been through the cupboard and I've found that I have an absolute shitload of rations so I'm going to start getting a few reviews out of the way. So, I know I haven't put anything up for quite a while but we've had a few things happen and uh, slowly getting them sorted out. So anyway, here we go, we've got a ration review. So this is a US cold weather Ration, it is ration or menu number four, turkey. So that's it there. So this is a dehydrated ration and it's supposed to be pretty good. So I've got Justine in the background here. She's gonna be, give us a running commentary on what she reckons of it. So right. see how we go. So this is a reseal. As you can see, it's a fresh ration. It's uh, expiry date, I think it's 2025. There we go, we've got her open. All right, let's get it out and have a look. So first of all, this is our mains, which is a mountain house dehydrated ration, which is a turkey. Here we have beverage powder grape. Accessory kit with our toilet paper, matches, and chewing gum, and Tabasco sauce. Spoon. We have the usual typical crackers that come with the US stuff. We have first strike chocolate flavour energy bar and we have a, a mocha cappuccino instant powder. Rightio, so let's get this thing cut open and we'll have a bit of a look at it to see what it looks like. First of all, we've got to get it open. Now these things are packed up pretty tight. So, see how we go. Yes, yeah, so you can't get in. <clears throat> well, I've got the knife here, so we'll give it a flick open with a knife. Let's see how we go with that. That should get it. Tell you what, they've got these things glued up pretty well. Well, well, we'll go the other way around then. We're going to be underneath it. We're going to be eating it straight away anyway. Well, here we go. We're out. We're in. So this is our mains. And this is what it looks like. So, doesn't look too bad. Looks like there's all your vegetables and stuff. It'll give us a bit of a break up. Just to make sure it's right. And we've got some water. Now, wet ration. It's 125 grams um, of food. But rehydrated, we'll see. So there's no fuel line on this, I don't think so. No, no fuel line. Oh wait on, what's that? Right, no. There's no fuel line. Anyway, we'll get some hot water in it and we'll build a bit of a stir up and we'll see how it goes. Oh, that water's hot too. These things take a bit, probably a bit more than normal. But I'll back it off a bit, we'll get this spoon out and we'll give it a stir. There we go. I'd say I might have been on the money with the water. So, smells good. Smells really good. Well, no, it's starting to suck that water up now. Might just put a little bit more hot in there. Uh, not a real much. Right out. There we go, it's starting to suck it up now. So this thing is designed for cold weather where you're out in the snow. Mmm. It doesn't taste all bad at all. We're out in the snow, yeah. On hot, you know. 
out doing your thing and you've got an abundant supply of water so that's pretty much what they've got these for so here we have the beverage powder the grape beverage powder and we have the cappuccino so what we're going to do first is I'm going to get this grape beverage powder mixed up these things don't have any tear lines or anything on them do well, there it is oh here we go it does have a tear line Here, in the glass. Tell you what, there's quite a lot in there. And then we'll get some water for it. it might be a bit strong with the um, beverage. It's blue. Oh yeah. Give this a bit of a stir up. All right, put this one over here. Mm. Tastes a bit weak though. That's probably why they've got tons in it. Okay. Now the mocha. Cappuccino thingy, my boy. Open this up and we'll have a look. Now I've had these before. These are really good. They taste really nice. So. They say to have this with cold water, if we will. Rightio. Put the water in. Oh, get undo the lid. Oh, drop the lid, it's alright. Let's have a look at this. Right. Give that a mix up. And we're away. Tell you what, that grape thing, I'm mm -hmm, trusting in that, it looks a bit more like antifreeze, that stuff. Oh, yeah. So that's all. Had a good stir up. Now, we have the chocolate flavour energy bar. Is that fella there? And these are good. We have the what have we got here? Chocolate peanut spread. Now I've waited a long time to get this stuff, and here it is. Chocolate peanut spread. We'll give that a try. Give it a bit of a knead up, and we've got our crackers. These are your typical. USMRE cracker. See if we can get an air blast out of it. Yep, there we go. And are they intact? Hell yeah. They're intact. We'll get one of them out. Right, we'll give this a try. We'll have to get a, give it a bit of a. Oh, it says the chair along this line here. Oh yeah, so I'm not tearing along there because it's easier to try and squirt them out. So we'll give this a break for these biscuits. And we'll get a bit and we'll put on the biggie. Here we go. Chocolate peanut butter. Justine's got a mouth open. Mmm. <laughs> As you can imagine, the biscuit's quite dry. But the chocolate peanut butter is really, really good. So we'll give that another try. Oh yeah, that is really good. So these ration packs are designed to be one meal on the move. Heat your water up, heat your food up, dehydrate it, and off you go. So this is our chocolate flavoured first strike bar, as you can see. So 
Well, try it. And now I go. Mm. Uh, really good. All right, uh, next to go, we'll have a drink of this grape stuff that resembles brake, antifreeze, brake fluid, whichever. That's what it looks like. Yeah, better now it's mixed up. It's actually quite a nice flavor. Sweet, but not real sweet, but there's a great flavor there. You can taste it. Mm, not bad. Next is the mocha cappuccino. Ooh, you even got a bit of a foam on top. Okay. We'll give it another go. That's it there. Here we go. Yep, a bit weak and watery, but yeah, it's not bad. It's the chocolate peanut butter, like. Oh, you want to try the chocolate peanut butter? Mm. Oh, yeah. What's that? That's a mocha thingy. That's weak in flavour. There you go, try that. Mm, I've got all the dogs coming over for a try. Heck, don't go away. I'm going to get rid of the dogs before they start knocking cameras over. Go on, Charlie. Go on, Heck. Um, Hector, Charlie, go. Go on. Hector's after the food. Go it's his favourite food, his food. Yeah, that's nice. Mm, it is. Right, this is the accessory pack. I'm not really going to open this up. Oh, it's got Tabasco sauce in it. That's cute. And it's got the usual chewing gum and stuff like that. And we've all seen these before. The typical Matches, toilet towel. towel matches and stuff that's your famous toilet paper yeah so i'm not going to open that but our next thing we're going to try now is this this is the turkey right, i'm going to put that over there because i'll use the plate so you can have a look i just want to try this bit oh that's oh that's it break it all up if i are you or something. Sort of, I suppose, yeah, as you would say. Right, now, the food. Just make sure that's all mixed up properly and dehydrated, or rehydrated in other words. So, put a bit on here, we'll pour a bit in there. Okay. Oh, I think I've got the ratios really good. Hot. So that's it there. You can see it's got um, ooh, beans and carrots, and looks like there's chunks of turkey there. Looks like a few peppers or chili type stuff. Looks like that. It looks like rice. And yeah, we'll try it out, eh? Give it a go. Yep, yep, it's not too bad, it's actually quite well spiced, it's actually not a salty at all, it's, you can taste the salt, you can taste everything, that's really good, really, really good. Mm. Yeah, doing lots of bushwalking as I do, myself and Justine, and every now and then Wayne comes with us, um, we eat a lot of dehydrated food. Our favourite bushwalking food or dehydrated food is our Strive meals, which are made in Hobart in Tasmania. But this is good. This is really good. I've had way worse. I've had better, but this is good. If you're in the middle of nowhere, that's freezing cold, dark, snowing, raining, whatever, you would appreciate this. I can tell you that now. Ah, really good. So, I'm just going to say over the next last couple of months, there's been a bit of a change. Um, I've just put a rooftop tent on my car and decked it out a little bit. So we're going to do a bit of touring and pool driving and touring around Tasmania and heading to mainland Australia and have a bit of a look around there. So we're going to document everything, video it and load it up on YouTube. 
No. Yep, this is pretty impressive. I'm happy with this. Hmm. I'll have another go at this drink. I actually don't mind this great drink. It's got a bit of acidity to it, a bit of sweetness, and it works. Everything else here, the chocolate I've had before, the chocolate bar, quite nice. In here, as I said, the accessory pack's got stuff in it. I'm not gonna open it. There's not much point. You've all seen them before. Um, the Tabasco, I'm actually gonna save that. That'll come in handy. With some of the badder tasting ration packs, yeah. But anyway, this is good. Now, I've got quite a few ration packs laying around. I think I've got 12 or 13 of them. So I'm gonna do a few. I've got some halal ones and some breakfast ones that Justine's gonna review. But uh, yeah, and the other ones I'll review. So yeah, we'll try and get a few of them done and you just can have a look at them and see how they go. Anyway, I'm gonna get going and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.